Hello, it's Philip Taylor speaking from Richmond Green Chambers. And I'm looking this morning at a book from LexisNexis. It's in the Butterworth's Common Law series. It's this book here. We'll have a look at it in a minute. It's called Buckley, The Law of Negligence and Nuisance, now in a fifth edition. And it's written by Professor Richard Buckley. We've given it the title, Indispensable for Practitioners, Judges and Academics, Thorough and Precise Guidance on Two Interrelated Torts. This is the book here, very elegant. Um, that's the side of it. You see it mentions the Butterworth Common Law series. The book itself has um, quite a lot going for it. Do read the series preface from Andrew Grubb, and do have a look at the main preface from Professor Buckley, who looks at some of the problems at the moment. Specifically, uh, he is concerned about the compensation culture, which we will talk a little bit about in a few minutes. A lot of case law, and you've then got the standard approach here of uh, very useful footnotes, which you can see there, and you've also got um, paragraph numbering, which you can again see on the sides there. And at the back, you've got a very useful index. And what you do in the last chapter, which is one I'll talk about in a few minutes, is you have what is called the area for reform, because there is a lot going on at the moment in this area of law. And as, as you recall, as students, um, you would specifically study the law of negligence and the law of nuisance. Today, there is a possibility, in many cases, that there is a merging going on between the two. Let me come on to that, because the review that we've written is appearing on the web and in the journals, and we've said that this book is part of the estimable and indispensable Butterworth's Common Law series, which, in the words of series editor Andrew Grubb, seeks to provide authoritative accounts of the common law for uh, legal practitioners, judges and academics. And in keeping with the aims of the series, Butterworth's um, and Buckley have produced a learned and authoritative book, now in its fifth edition, which provides a clear exposition of the law of nuisance and negligence, both specific torts in which the issues tend to merge and overlap. We'll know a bit more about that in a minute. What we say, though, is that this particular book in the series provides guidance on the accepted view of the law in these areas, with a view to encouraging, or discouraging as appropriate, certain changes in the direction of the law. The result is an authentic statement on the current law of negligence and nuisance as at 2011. And as Professor Buckley explains, sharp conceptual distinctions between the two torts are no longer seen as appropriate. The book therefore focuses on the similarities and areas of overlap between the two torts, particularly in damage to property. Both subject areas are heavily case-driven, of course, and incidentally the contrast between the torts quite often turns up on exam papers, challenging students to explain the difference between the two of them. It's useful, of course, for practitioners too, because there is this sort of blurring between the two. Since the publication of the book's last edition six years ago, the Lords uh, pre-Supreme Court handed down a number of decisions involving basic principles in this area, including duty of care and liability issues. Indeed, we'd say that the concept of duty of care has emerged prominently as a major issue of today, notably, of course, in PI matters, personal injury. Consequently, certain um, concerns are all too often raised about what has become labelled as the compensation culture, which I referred to earlier, and is mentioned in the preface. This is supposedly encourages enraged litigants to sue or threaten to sue at the drop of a hat, namely the first opportunity. And this leads us to draw your attention to the most topical and thought-provoking bit of the book itself, the chapter on reform. That's the last chapter. Put a question mark after the word reform. Um, here, the pros and cons of reform are discussed, and the need for it, or not for it, and the forms it should take are succinctly discussed. And it's something that will certainly be a matter the politicians will look at, I'm sure, in the future. Laudably, in our view, then, Buckley upholds the fundamental importance of the preservation of a free society, of the right of any citizen for his own purposes to sue or merely threaten to sue 
in the independent courts of the country, the government itself, or any individual or organisation whose actions he believes have caused him harm. And that is really where the, I think the general civil wrong concept comes into it, if you think about it in a jurisprudential sense. And in, in the same vein, Buckley looks forward with some hope to the possible prospect of a pruned and healthier common law of negligence, which would be seen to play a vital role in the legal system of a free society. If you would disagree, with all that, all we can say is, how could you? But there again, it's a matter of personal preference. A boon to legal researchers, then, this volume includes at least 75 pages of statutes, statutory instruments, cases, and so forth. And in our opinion, all practitioners should have a copy of this most useful current volume on what is a very important subject for us, if certainly if we're involved in contentious litigation. So thank you to Professor Buckley and to LexisNexis and the Butterworth's Common Law series for an excellent publication. Bye-bye.